Hey everybody, it's Gypsy, and this is my uh, fractured tibia plateau surgery recovery update, post-op week 14. So now it's mostly uh, just about me walking. I am, my knee is still very swollen, and I still have pain all the time. No matter what I do, no matter what I take, I still have pain. <laughs> uh, but like I said in my last video last week, um, ouch. yeah, it's kind of like moves in weird directions and makes these weird clicking noises. But anyways, my doctor said it's tolerated. I can start walking, um, you know, working on walking. <laughs> I've been working on it since, uh, what was it, April 28th, he told me that. The noise back there is my dog drinking water. <laughs> Anyways, um, I've been working, you know, on it since he told me, since April 28th. Uh, now, you know, I'm still using my walker. I am able to use my entire foot, but the amount of weight I'm putting on is still very light. If I put on too much, my knee buckles and my leg is just very weak. So I had my first um, physical therapy session. And she gave me exercises to strengthen my knee. Um, she watched how I walk with my walker, and she said, I'm doing a great job. Um, I ordered a cane, which my physical therapist was very happy to hear. I told her, I can't wait to get rid of the walker because it makes me feel like an old woman. As I was joking around, you know, like if my kids or somebody implies that I might be old, I'm always like, oh, get get my walker. Where's my walker? You know, I always used to tease about that. And then at 58 years old, I really need a walker. So I want to get rid of the walker and I want to get rid of the wheelchair. Uh, those are my goals. Right now, I still need the wheelchair for going out, which we will be doing a lot of this weekend because we are having a family celebration. Um, so my cane should be in, I think, no later than Tuesday. So, you know, I want her to take a look at it to make sure it's the right height and everything. And then when the time comes, she's going to teach me, uh, what did she call it? The, the sync, sync, no. Well, how to use the cane because there's a, a sequence of how to use a cane. She's going to teach me that. Um, so things are going really well. You know, except for the pain and swelling. If it weren't for the swelling, my range of motion would be so much better. I mean, I'm at, I I have 90 degree range of motion with my knee, which my doctor was thrilled about. But I think if it weren't so swollen, I'd be able to move it further back. Um, so that's where I am now. I tried to do a short, uh, to upload a short of me walking. Um, but it's not working. I'm going to have to have someone else film while I walk. I tried to do it with the laptop or the phone and it just doesn't work right. So I'll try to get something up on how I'm walking right now. I really won't call it walking until I can put my full weight down and actually walk. Um, let's see. Other, I'm doing really good. I'm doing more things around the house. I am cooking dinner more often. I can't do it all the time because when I cook, I get very tired and then I end up in more pain. Uh, for the first time, I have made the bed. I tried doing that before, but I didn't have enough balance. Yesterday, I did. I had balance. Um, I've done things like clean the bathroom. I can feed my cats. I think if I could set a chair next to the litter boxes... I could clean that out. I just can't get it outside to the trash. Uh, I washed the windows the other day so that Sirius could come and put his big ass nose against it again and make it dirty. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm just doing more and more things. The scary thing is that my uh, physical therapist today mentioned um, me getting up and down the steps you know, what I call the 14er. This is an old house, so these steps are very steep. And it's scary thought to me. So she's saying it's eventually going to come. It's scary. Uh, right, it's, I'm not close yet, but um, I have to get more 
be able to put more weight on my leg. It literally, it, it makes a lot of clicking and rubbing together. Weird feeling. It hurts. and gives me shivers. But again, if I put too much weight on my leg, it collapses. So I'm just working on strengthening right now. So today was my first session. She's coming back tomorrow. And I think I'm going to be having uh, two sessions of physical therapy every week at home. So uh, my nurse was also here today. It's been a busy day with my medical appointments. Um, she said, she goes, you look great. You're very healthy, except, you know, you with the knee, that's the, your only problem. Um, she just said, you know, with walking, still be very careful. You know, she says, I know you're excited to walk. She says, I don't want you overdoing it. And she goes, I know you guys are going out and celebrating and stuff this weekend, but be careful. I said, well, I'll be in my wheelchair. I'm not going to try anything foolish, like try to get up and walk in public, especially. <laughs> Besides, raising Christian would kill me. <laughs> anyway, they would. <laughs> would be pretty. Anyways, um, yeah. So that's the update. I'm doing great. I wish I could have gotten that short in here. Um, yeah, I don't. I, it's just not working. So I guess I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, I mean, things not at a standstill because now I'm really getting along with the walking. Uh, but now it's just mostly about walking. It's kind of like the swelling and the pain is just a given now. It's like I live with pain day in and day out, 24 7. And I don't know, I kind of get used to it, I guess. It hurts like hell, but, but uh, everything's good. I'm going to leave you with that. Blessed be and make it a joyful one.